Okay, here's a good one. I'm voting in a state election. There are three candidates for governor, four for lieutenant governor, three for the state house of reps, and four for the Senate. In how many different ways can I fill out a ballot if I vote once for each office? Okay, so I'm just going to start with the first two offices, maybe simplify this problem just a little bit. So for governor, there are how many people running? Three. Here they are. One, two, three. Okay. Um, actually, why did I make them all the same color? I should have made them different colors. I should have called them A, B, C, shouldn't I? Candidate A, candidate B, candidate C. That would be better. There we go. Learn as we go. Candidate A, B, and candidate C. Right? Then we've got Lieutenant Governor. Lieutenant Governor, and we'll call these candidates um, just for fun W, X, <coughs> Y, and Z. Okay? So let's just take um, how many possible ways um, can we vote for governor and then lieutenant governor? And we'll do the rest later. But I'm just going to take these two first just to understand the problem a bit. So, so let's say we, we decide to vote for candidate A for governor. Then you could vote for W for lieutenant governor, or you could go A, X for lieutenant governor, or A, Y, or A, Z. How many possibilities is that? <coughs> guys, guys, I'm making a video, sorry. Um, so that's four possible ways there. Um, or we could vote for candidate B for governor, right? In which case we could either vote for W, X, Y, or Z for lieutenant governor. That's four possible ways. Or candidate C for governor, in which case we could vote for W, X, Y, or Z for lieutenant, right? So many possible ways can we vote for a governor and then a lieutenant governor? many do you see? Right? So I see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Right? Or you could think, okay, that's three of these times four of these possibilities and that makes 12. Right? 12 possible ways to vote for governor or lieutenant governor. Okay, now let's move on to the next office. Three candidates for the House of Representatives and four for the Senate. So we'll do the House of Reps now. House of Representatives. Three candidates. Okay, so let's call these guys candidates one, two, and three. So the trick is I could take any one of these possibilities of governor, lieutenant governor, right? Such as I'll pick one, BY. So I could vote for B for governor, Y for lieutenant governor, and one for House of Reps, or I could go B, Y, and then 2 for the House of Reps, or I could go B, uh, Y, 3 for House of Reps. So that, so for any, any um, possibility for Governor, Lieutenant Governor that I pick, I could pick, I could make up three new um, um, uh, permutation or combinations here for um, for House of Reps. Okay, so I could take any one of these twelve and make three possibilities. Three possibilities here. Okay, so if so, the trick is we could take twelve possibilities for governor, or lieutenant governor, and times that by three possibilities for House of Reps, and now we've got thirty six possibilities. For either governor, lieutenant, or house of reps, lieutenant governor or house of reps. Okay, thirty-six. Does that make sense? Think about right, right. Draw out more diagrams if you need to. Um, so the next one is Senate. Okay, Senate is next. How many possibilities there? Four candidates for the Senate. Okay, what do we call these guys? Four candidates for Senate. Um. So for Senate, there could you could vote for the tri the the square, the circle, the triangle, 
okay or the let me think uh, the moon okay so that's four possibilities for the Senate square circle triangular moon right so we could take any combination of governor lieutenant or house of rep of which are 36 so for example we could take by2 or CZ3 or aw1 or AZ2 or whatever or we could take say B uh, X uh, 3 okay and on to BX3 there's B for um, oh I, I got my colors mixed around sorry but I'm just gonna be consistent here make the B make the governor black so B and the lieutenant governor green so BX3 um, square right or we could go BX3 circle or BX3 triangle you get the idea well I'm just trying to draw this out because I just want to make sure you guys understand this without just trying to memorize some formula I really want to try to visualize this okay okay so now for any uh, combination of governor lieutenant governor house of reps I can choose um, four I can make four possibilities by by adding on a, a, a different Senate person okay so so out of any of those 36 possible uh, uh, I can add four on right so like I said like BX3 I could there's four I can add on or or, or I could do another one but basically I can take those 36 possibilities for the first three offices governor lieutenant governor house of reps and I can times that by uh, four different options for the Senate okay and that makes how many possibilities now well four times six is twenty four uh, carry the two four times three is twelve and two is fourteen isn't it so now we have a hundred forty four possible ways to fill out the ballot right 144 ways to fill out ballot isn't it